Here's an update on the P.O. Box situation. How's it going guys? Corey the Random Guy here with you today. I'm going to be telling you guys about the whole update on the P.O. Box thing. It's going to be a bit confusing, but bear with me. But before we begin, I'd like you guys to keep liking, subscribing, sharing, commenting, hitting that notification bell so you guys don't miss anything. Thumbs up, thumbs down. You guys are doing phenomenal. I'm up to 401 last count. Keep it going guys. Let's keep it going. We have a P.O. Box for this channel. I will put the address to it in the description below along with another address to the same box and I'll explain why. It's also going to be in my about tab as well so guys go check that out. So with all that out of the way finally let's continue. You guys remember me saying that if you guys are going to send a package you have to send it USPS right? I went into the post office today to go check the PO box to see if I had anything from any subscribers, fans, you know even a letter or whatever and I did not. However I looked and there was a form in there for the P.O. Box. I'm like, what the hell is this? It turns out, now that I have signed that paper, I can now receive packages from UPS, FedEx, DHL. And I have to use the post office's actual address in order to actually receive packages. I'm putting this video out there to give you guys an update. Like I said, somebody was going to send me something. They used UPS to do it, and they said they couldn't. Well, now there's a way to do it, which is why there's going to be two addresses for the same box. It's it's crazy. This is how they explained it to me. In order for me to receive packages, any of them other carriers, I have to use the actual address of the post office, including my P.O. Box number. Sounds strange. That's how it's working. But that only works for packages. If you guys are going to just send letters, uh, QSL cards, postcards, or whatever, you have to use the first address. And I'll put it in the description and in the about section of which address to use for letters or for packages. It's really screwed up. I do not know why they can't just put it together, but who knows. But that's the situation right now with the P.O. Box. To give you guys a little bit of an update on the house, remember, we had 20 days to get all this stuff done. Guess what? The landlord is calling the guy in a week early. I've already got that wooden board off replaced it with plexiglass now unfortunately even though i drilled it pre-drilled it before i stuck any screws through it it decided to crack anyway so all i did was just leave the film on there to help you know with the whole deal that plexiglass was not cheap so i have to just go with it basic so i'm not sure what's going on with the whole thing and i guess the county inspector does not like my banner that i have on the front of my house and with him prematurely calling the inspector in to get everything done i don't know what his game plan is my theory now this is just a theory i i could be totally wrong the city wants this trailer park and they want to shut it down that's the only thing that i can think of the reason why they are all over everyone about everything i could be wrong i could be right i don't know time will tell <sighs> So anyway guys, it was just a short little video. I uh, haven't really done anything else with any of the projects. The RV still sitting down in its spot. I haven't even tried to attempt to start it. I have not started on the uh, backpack CB radio yet. I haven't started on an NFED dipole. I haven't started on any of this stuff. Most of my viewers will understand and I appreciate that. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope that actually made it clear. If not, let me know if you guys have any questions and comment below or you guys can email me directly by going to my about tab and getting my email from there. We will see you later.